The, the, the third part of the question suggests that God grieves over the condition of humankind. The questioner states, yeah. people who have had near-death experience have lived to tell that God weeps over the lost who end up going to hell. That is, he feels sad about them going to hell but cannot interfere with anyone's will. This whole concept that God is sad is flawed. God is not sad. How could God be sad about a perfect universe that God created operating in a perfect manner because of his perfect laws? Such a concept that God would create his own sadness by creating a whole heap of flawed laws that then God would have to obey himself is crazy, yeah. let alone unreasonable. So, so like, it's not, definitely not true. No one in the spirit world who has had a near-death experience and visited the spirit world has ever seen God cry. Mm. They've seen spirits who claim to be God crying. Yeah. They've seen or spirits to be you. who claim to be me crying. Yeah. They've also seen spirits who want to show that God cries, impersonating a crying God, just so the person on earth feels like they're loved because they're cared for and that they're going to cause God pain if they choose something that's out of harmony with God's laws. Mm -hmm. You do not cause God any pain when you choose to do something out of harmony with God's laws. None whatsoever. God smiles at your decision. God realises and has compassion over the fact that you create your own pain, but God does not cry at the decision you willingly make in order to disobey God's laws and principles. Is this another idea of love being shown through sadness and regret? Of course and it is. So... Yeah. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of, and I know that there's accounts in the Bible where you supposedly wept, and people see that as a sign. There was of only your one love time well. that I remember weeping in the first century, and that was when Lazarus was said to be dead, and they had buried my friend alive. Yeah. Now I was pretty sad about that because I was thinking, wow, they don't understand so much about death that they can go and bury my friend, and he's alive. You imagine being bound from head to toe wrapped up so you cannot move and you're alive and you're in that condition for over two days. Yeah. Right? Now, the Bible account that he was smelling was not true. He was not smelling, right? he, but he was constrained in this place being alive right? and in this place where he hadn't died yet. It's like, sort of like a place before the spirit body has left the material body. Yeah. And I knew my friend had been buried alive and... and my sadness was caused by the fact that people would go ahead and bury him alive because they didn't understand death at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so naturally, I let myself have a cry about that and went and remedied the situation. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And uh, the accounts that he smelled and all those kind of things were not true. They were later embellishments to prove that I somehow had resurrected from the dead, which I did not do because it's impossible. Yeah. And... Um, but they, again, they are things that people feel, you know, a weeping God appeals to their emotional state. Mm -hmm. And God doesn't weep. God's a happy God. If God wept, I don't know what the results would be <laughs> in the universe, but they'd be pretty really? incredibly intense, I would have thought. <laughs> if God wept over sinners, then due to the number of sinners that are on the planet and in the spirit world, God would be weeping a lot. Yeah. Because there are billions of sinners and billions of people on earth and in the spirit world who are directly doing things in disharmony with God's laws and love. Mm. And, and if God was a sad God, imagine how much crying he'd be doing. It's like you having a billion friends and you have to cry about each one of them yeah. or 20 billion friends and have to cry about each one of them. Imagine the immensity of the grief. Yeah. God is not like this at all. Well, and as we've discussed in other questions, God's actually designed in, inherent in his laws uh, ways that we're going to come back to love and understand our will anyway, aren't we? So what would be his cause for sadness? Mm. Nothing is, no, is permanent. There is no cause for sadness because God created a perfect system. You don't, you're not sad about a perfect system that you create. And God is never sad about the beautiful system God created. God looks at it in with marvel and thinks, wow, aren't I a fantastic creator? <laughs> God, God looks at it and my feelings are that God looks at it and goes, 
wow, this is a beautiful system that I've made mm -hmm. and, and I would love for the people in this system to come to understand how beautiful it is, which the people who develop in love do eventually come to see mm -hmm. how beautiful the system is. It's a remarkable system that God's created and God would never need to cry about anything that's happening in the system and God doesn't cry about anything that's happening in the system and once you become at one with God, you don't cry about anything that's happening in the system either. That's the reality. You, you may have compassion and express compassion through tears and you may have joy and you cry in your joy, but you, you, you don't cry in sadness, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you might have some frustration still even once you're at one with God in the sense of seeing how everybody acts and behaves. And when I say frustration, it's not anger or anything. It's just frustration in the sense of, Wow, if only everyone could see it differently, yeah. <laughs> then that everything would be different. But, you know, the reality is there is no pain in God. Mm. Pain is, the, is a human creation based upon our fear and our walking away from God. If we believe there is pain in God, we have a very incorrect concept of God. Yep. God is not pained by anything that we do that God wishes and hopes and has compassion for our condition and hopes and wishes that we change, hopes and wishes that we get into a better condition. But also God has created this beautiful universe that we've got no other future other than getting into a better condition. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. So this concept that God is a sad God is a very damaging concept of God. 